In that moment, I realized that just because something is basic, it doesn't mean that it's easy. And you all know that we live in a world that tells us it's okay to skip steps. Tells us we should always be looking for a shortcut or a hack. Tells us we should be chasing what's new and what's shiny and what's flashy and what's sexy and just ignore what's basic. But I'm here to tell you, if you do those things, you are making a huge mistake. That's because the basics work. They always have and they always will. Where do your strengths lie? What are your natural talents? What are your gifts? What are the areas, the skill sets and the mindsets that you have that you need to continue to double down on to make them world class and that will give you the opportunity to not only actualize being the best version of yourself, but at the exact same time, making maximum contribution to those around you. Where are your strengths and what is your game plan? And then I ask myself, yeah, okay, these, these challenges that they have, what they need to do to improve their organizational performance, are these things that I know about, are these things that I can actually share lessons on, strategies for improvement? And the answer to most of them was yes, because they were the same things that I learned through the game of basketball, and it's the same things that I just got done sharing with you guys. So from a blaming, complaining, and, and making excuses standpoint, what's, what's the issue with that? Why is there a problem with that? Why is that not moving us closer to being our best self? They bring everybody down to their level. They absolutely bring people down. The first time I met Kobe Bryant, my life changed forever. See, back in 2007, Nike flew me out to Los Angeles to work the first ever Kobe Bryant Skills Academy. Nike brought in the top high school and college players from around the country for an intense three-day mini camp with the best player in the world. And for any of you that don't follow basketball as closely as I do, just know that in 2007, Kobe was the best player in the game. Well, an important fact about me is basketball was my first identifiable passion. I fell in love with the game at five years old and here 40 years later, basketball is still a major pillar of my life. I think I had two really profound takeaways from today. Um, the first one was focusing on leadership through service. Um, I think that that trickles down not just from it applies to not just business owners or employees, but it, imply, you know, it applies to your personal life as well. The best thing for me is I was a head basketball coach for over 20 years, so just I knew of Alan before and some of the work that he did there. And just getting to hear him speak live was really, really good. I love the stories about the process, uh, holding people accountable, um, making sure that your expectations are set really high so that they know what they are for in accountability. Uh, it was just an hour and 20 minutes of really really good stuff it went by super fast it's hard to write it all down but uh, uh, I bet if you grab his books you could probably learn a few things cool. Thank Thank you. Guys. but I'm around all day if I could do anything to serve you all right you guys ready let's end on a high note I believe in you I care about you and I know you can do it get those hands ready I got you ready As you can see, as you can see, you still have some work to do, so do it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you.